I picked up a set of NOE bolt molds and I'm going to do a review on them. Uh, I've really never done much business with this company. Uh, what I was doing is looking for a bullet for the 6.5 Carcano. And outside of going and having one custom made, I found one. It was like off the shelf. They already had it designed. And the NOE company had it. It's the 270 diameter, 160, 63 grain flat nose bullet. Now this company can get the molds in like I think two, three, four, and I think something like this you can get the five uh, cavity mold. Aluminum or brass. I don't think they do steel of any sort. I picked the brass mold and uh, you can get all the designs with or without a gas check. You can either get a gas check or a plain base. I decided to go with the gas check. I kind of like them. Uh, I know some people don't. They don't like the extra work involved in that, but I went with the gas check model. And uh, the cost of the mold, the brass one, was $116.50. Um, I think the aluminum one would be somewhere about 90 some odd dollars if I got the same thing in aluminum. The reason I went with the brass is because I had one other set of uh, brass molds from Cash Bullet Engineering out of Australia. All they work in is brass and I kind of liked the results so when I had the option of buying this I said and plus I think it was the last four cavity he had in this design bullet in stock. So I got it. I kind of regret it because of the weight. Um, it casts a nice bullet, but the weight of it, and my left hand is not 100%, and it gets a little heavy, and, and I probably should have went with the aluminum mold just to make the whole thing easier. Still casts a good bullet, though. Uh, the bullet designed, it drops out of the mold at 271, 272. So with, uh, that's with clip-on wheel weights. So I got a bullet design that I like. And uh, this company's pretty professional. They do have a video on YouTube and they show you how they make the molds with the CNC machinery. And you basically get your mold and you get a, two Allen wrenches that'll adjust all the screws here. And and this one here is very high quality finish on, on the bullet mold. And then we'll take a closer look at it. And if you can see, they do have the little lines that grow, go across. The little vent lines are machined in there, very fine, very small. Just like on a Lyman bullet mold. The finish on this is really nice. Really high quality. They do fit on the Lyman, or not, I'm sorry, not the Lyman, the Lee large mold handles. So I got sets of these so it's neat, they fit right on there. A lot of these companies will do that. So you got you know, because I forget I bought a bullet mold from somebody, they only fit on Seiko bullet molds handles, which are probably the most expensive ones that there are. And uh, again, I got it in the brass. Now the reason some, some people say that the brass molds are better because you can polish the inside of the mold. And you know, if you got a better finish on the inside of the mold, you'll have a better finish on your bullet. And brass molds too, you got to take it easy with them. You can't be rough with them. They'll, they'll bend easy and ding easier. And uh, you can't overheat them, you'll warp them. So you got to be careful with that. And they kind of are a little bit to break them in. Uh, I had a problem. I kind of took me a bit to break them in. What they do is when they come, in the state, they're a bright yellow, and you got to kind of bring them up to temperature a few times, let them cool off, bring them up to temperature, 
and then it'll turn this golden color as you see now. This was like a bright, real bright yellow color. And if you look at this bullet as compared to the block, it's a small bullet, you know, and a large block. So getting this up to temperature, the correct temperature, it's kind of tricky and kind of hard to maintain. Uh, you know, usually you, you just get used to it and guess it and you can guesstimate it and basically you'd have to place these on a hot plate to preheat them or else you'd be casting a whole bunch of bad bullets forever in a day before it got heated up. <clears throat> Which brings me to another thing about this company. I didn't realize it because like I said I just seen the design, the design is what I wanted and I bought a set of bullet molds. And I remember in the drop down box it asked you if you want the uh, lubricant for the plate, which I got a little bottle of that, and then there was something drill hole for thermometer or something, which I didn't know, and uh, I guess they sell a digital mold block thermometer, and then what they would do with this, because I've seen a video on YouTube of a guy using it, about right here they would drill a hole and put another set screw in, and then a probe from a digital thermometer would run into this hole along the block. And you hold this small little digital device, it's a thermometer, and it gives you the temperature reading. Because in their instructions, they tell you that these uh, molds are designed to operate. Got the instructions here. I wasn't quite sure what they were talking about. Season our molds, run it to operating temperature about 350, 400 degrees, let it cool back down. Do this three or four times. Uh, gives you alignment pins, chance to see. Our molds are engineered to operate at below 600 degrees. Okay. Um, and I wasn't quite sure if they're talking about the temperature of the alloy or what. They're talking about the temperature of the mold blocks. And I didn't realize that they had a way that you can drill this out and place a thermometer inside this mold, which is something new to me. Uh, I don't know if other companies do it. This is the only one. I don't know if this is an accessory that's been around. I've never used one. But in this situation, I kind of like the idea because then I could take this mold, put it on a hot plate, get it up to the 350, and it'll tell me exactly with the thermometer in it, and then cast. So, I was thinking about, you know, getting that thermometer later on, and the thing about it is I believe if they give me instructions on how to drill this out and put it in, I could probably place it on other bolt molds. I have uh, accurate molds block here, and as you see, very similar, okay, and if it's basically just drilling into this, I can do that and work with a bridge port and sink and tap a set screw on the side of this. So that's something I didn't know about this company, I didn't know that they had mold block thermometers, maybe they've had them for a long time, I just never paid attention, I don't know, but I like the mold. And I like their designs. I went through and I didn't really look at their other designs like in the 30 caliber and they have some that you can use in an 8 millimeter or a uh, say 7.62 by 54 you know they are the 303 British and the Japanese Arasaka you know use a different diameter bullet which you don't normally find uh, so I'll probably buy some more molds from this company. I like them. They're good quality. They, they make a good bullet. And I like the idea of the uh, thermometer. Because then it would just be a matter of you fire up your lead melter. You take this, put it on a hot plate, attach the thermometer. And as they give you the instructions, wait for it to reach temperature. And then you're always safe. Uh, you, you won't overheat your blocks. Probably get a longer life out of the mold, less wear and tear, and make it easier to produce better bullets. 
So that is something I may look into and do more videos on using that thermometer. But I know I will order probably uh, some of the other designs I went through I like. And I probably will order some more molds from this company. Aluminum ones. I mean, I like the brass, but the weight is... I wasn't thinking when I got it. So, that's my review on it. Stay tuned. We're going to do work with the... Uh, 6.5 Carcano, and I may get a mold in the near future here set up uh, with the thermometer deal. And then we'll do some casting with that and see if it's helpful or uh, an advantage.